Saturday, that means time to head off to another wedding. And uh, today we're heading uh, to the Garden Center here in town. Uh, I've done a, a, a wedding at this, um, at this particular venue before. Actually, I've done a couple of events there. I've never filmed there before, but uh, this will be the first gig log from there. But uh, it's a pretty nice facility. And um, it's about uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon now. The reception's supposed to start around 3.30 or so, but I always like to get there ahead of time, make sure that I got everything, you know, set up and all that good stuff. So I like to arrive early and uh, get there in plenty of time. So anyway, we'll be there shortly and uh, we'll talk to you there. All right, we're here and set up. It's about three o'clock uh, now. The ceremony is getting started right about now uh, at its church just right up the street. So I'm not doing the music for the ceremony. I'm only doing the reception, but people should start trickling in here within about the next oh, 30 minutes or so. But anyway, we're at the uh, Pensacola Garden Club this afternoon, actually kind of close to downtown Pensacola. And it's uh, sort of a historic area here. I just want to show you the area. You can see the neighborhood here. They've got lots of nice uh, trees and uh, boy, it is hot out here today. It feels, uh, I think it's about 85 outside. Uh, and uh, of course humidity makes it feel like it's a lot uh, worse than that. It probably feels like it's maybe over 100, but you know we got this sweltering wet heat while we're down here so uh, in the south in, uh, in the state of Florida. So uh, it's not dry heat like it is just about everywhere else. We got this, the swampy tropical heat here which can make you miserable. So anyway, we're going to go inside and I'm going to show you my setup. And uh, actually I've done a lot more up lighting and I think you're going to be impressed. So we'll see you inside. Ah, it feels nice to get in here with the air conditioning. Okay, gonna show you my setup real quick and uh, take a look at the stage there. And you can see what I've, what I've done with the up lighting. Put a park in there at the bottom of that column, and then two park ins over there behind the cakes. You can see how they got the um, this curtain over here. See how that's gonna look? It's gonna look awesome when it gets so dark. But uh, real quick, want to show you the the cakes. Here's the wedding cake. That's pretty neat. And here's the groom's cake. He's obviously a Florida State fan, as you can tell, FSU Seminoles there. Matter of fact, we cut the cake, the groom's cake will be doing the, uh, the FSU fight song, so that's going to be fun. So anyway, uh, just take a look at my setup. Now look at this, I got uh, bowls here with live fish in them. I wonder how long those things are going to live. <laughs> but um, anyway, just to give you a quick uh, look at my setup over here. I do have one light tree set up tonight. got the Revo 3 and the Revo Sweep set up as well. So anyway, we'll be uh, getting things started here in a little while. but. Pretty nice facility. I've done a couple gigs here already. All right, we're just getting uh, dinner uh, wrapped up here. Just a little bit, gonna be doing some toast and getting the party started. The funny thing is, I want to tell you, I talked to the lady who's in charge of the uh, the uh, columns over there that I was uh, doing the uplighting, and she said that their company actually charged extra to do uplighting, and that the bride didn't really uh, sign up for that. So anyway, I stuck my park cans over there. It looks great, so I think she's going to be real happy. Uh, she hadn't commented on it yet, but I think she's really going to be happy. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in there. But got quite a few people here, as you can see. They're all having a good time. That's what I can see all evening long.
What do you think Simon Cowell would be saying to that performance? As Randy Jackson would say, yo dog, that was cool. <laughs> yo dog, I'm not oh. oh. A little bit pitchy. <laughs> a little bit pitchy, okay. Yeah, yeah it's alright, it's alright. A little pitchy, but it's alright. Okay, we had a request for the chicken dance. Here we go. Now it's about uh, 7.30 and the bride and groom have already left. They decided to go on and I guess start their honeymoon early, but hey, we still have a lot of people that still want to stay at parties. So they're already cleaning up, but everybody's out here partying and having a good time. So we, got, we got a few people out here. That's usually the way it goes sometimes though. You know, some of the younger people like to stay after, so you know, they've still got, got me for a while, so I'm going to stay and play some music as long as they'll dance and have a good time. So it looks like they are. They want to hear the Cupid Shuffle again, but I play that song at least an average of twice during a, a, an event, no matter what event it is. Try and get more people. Oh, here they come back. That's it, it's over. It's about five minutes till uh, 10 o'clock now. And uh, the bride and groom actually uh, left around 7 o'clock, but we stayed there till about 9 o'clock. I mean, the, uh, the guests stayed and partied and had a good time till about 9 o'clock. I'm not really sure why the bride and groom left, but I think that they were thinking that most everybody was going to leave and all that good stuff, and they thought that probably uh, that uh, you know the, their guests were leaving, and they thought pretty much the party was over, but it wasn't. It just began, and the bride and groom missed out on most of the reception. That's the sad part. But anyway, everybody who stayed uh, really did have a good time. That was a nice facility, and uh, you know, it was another successful wedding, and I got a lot of compliments on the uplight. And uh, come to uh, find out that uh, those columns that you saw, uh, you know, the, those uh, that particular place uh, will include uplighting for an additional fee. And, and from what I understand, they paid about five hundred dollars to have just those columns without the uplighting. So my lights uh, doing that uplighting really added a lot. I mean, I got a lot of compliments on it. The bride loved it. So uh, I think we've, we've come a long way, and we definitely got something with this uplighting thing. So anyway, gonna head home uh, right now and. Uh, got another gig, another wedding actually, an after ceremony party next Saturday night in Orange Beach, Alabama, just across the state line. So we'll be looking forward to posting that gig vlog next weekend. So, till next week, practice and enjoy.